Hello there guys, it's me Dolphinatic and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle. I was so close to saying X and Y, you don't know how strange it is to finally say this. Today, I have a Wi-Fi battle against Anima.TV. She is a great battler, as you will find out in this video, and she's also a great YouTuber. I highly recommend you go check out her channel. Chances are you already know who she is, but I would highly recommend you go look at it after this video, of course. We're going to get into the battle here today. You will have seen the teams in the team preview. I did not have enough time to look at that. I did not plan that very well. Anyway, she starts off with her, uh, I forgot what it's called, Breloom, and I start off with my Noiva, and I decide it's probably the best thing to leave into sleep. I'm going to go for the Air Slash and try and get the flinch, which I do get, which is Hacks piece number one, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to obviously stay in the Air Slash again, I don't want to play any gains. Uh, she brings in Ferroform, does a decent amount, quite risky. She wouldn't have known I was Specs at this point or Choiced at all, and I almost fell off my chair there. That would have been embarrassing. So I'm going to switch out here because I am Choice Specs. Um, she probably knows I'm Choice in some way now. I'm going to bring Zapdos. One, because in case they want, she wants to set up Stealth Rocks. Uh, I can defog them away. And two, I can Heat Wave. However, I'm going to expect him to predict the, uh, predict the Heat Wave. So I'm going to switch out into Heat Tran, expecting her to bring in Latias. So I was like, whew, well that worked out well. I'm playing well so far. Even though the flinch did slightly help me in the... Uh, first turn. Uh, here she goes straight for a Draco Meteor, which I do not understand because this is especially defensive heat trend and that done absolutely nothing. Um, or actually no, maybe I just switched out. Oh, I can't tell what's happening. I switched out and bought in Heatran because he trans a safe switch and after Draco Meteor, her special attacks will be doing nothing. In comes Diggersby here. Now I could have gone for the Lava Plume um, and tried to get the burn, but I wasn't honestly expecting this and I just went for a Toxic, expecting a switch out and not into Ferroform because obviously that's suicide for a Ferroform. Um, but this Diggersby is uh, poisoned, and lots of Diggersby's are indeed Life Orb, so Toxic and Life Orb is going to hurt. Here she goes for the return, and um, I, I'm not sure whether I switch here or not, because I'm trying to figure out whether she is a uh, choice or not. I expected her to be Choice Scarf, maybe, actually here, but Earthquake actually just ends up destroying me. You could probably just lay another few Heatrans out there and they'd all die too, because it would have done so much damage. Um, so yeah, even though after Life Orb and Toxic, it's down to half now, so Gallade can just come in. Now I know it's not a choice. I, I feel I'm faster at max speed. Uh, in comes Breloom here, and Breloom is just going to die. It's just going to flat up die, and Mega Gallade, well, is Mega Gallade, and Mega Gallade is just sexy. I go for the close combat, actually, expecting her to bring in the, um... Actually, I don't know why I went for the close combat, really. I just did. I just felt like going for the close combat. In comes the Victini. I don't want to stay around for this thing, because Z-Create will probably kill me. Um, if I had gone for the uh, close combat, I might have been able to live, because uh, Mega Gallade's pretty bulky in both defenses. Um, Zapdos can, however, take the U-turn like a champ. Wasn't predicting the U-turn, um, but it was a good play on her part. She's now got the momentum, even though I think she had it in the first place. Uh, in comes the Diggersby now, and uh, she could start going for the uh, rock type moves here and uh, honestly I don't think I'd do too much anyway but she, she goes for a U-turn here and this pretty much um, while it still gives her the momentum it's not ex I don't think it's exactly what she was expecting so she either doesn't have the rock move and uh, decides to U-turn out and is bluffing it or I'm just not scared of it I give her the heat wave here obviously because I can't Thunderbolt because that thing is uh, immune to electric types um, and I go for the heat wave and Rotom just takes that really nicely she obviously realized that's what I was going to do uh, as I had stayed in with my Zapdos. Here I go for the Thunderbolt, want to see how much it does. It does a good amount, uh, as to the point where I thought it might be able to kill again next turn. Uh, burn doesn't bother me at all. I have Roost and Leftovers, and I'm not a physical attacker, so... Honestly, it's better, because it means I can't get poisoned if she has anyone that carries Toxic, especially Ferroform. Um, so she's going to withdraw, because maybe she doesn't... Or she might know that she can't live another Thunderbolt, but actually she has a safe switch in Latias anyway. Mega Latias eats that Thunderbolt up very nicely. Um... I think I might stay in here, in fact, because uh, once my defensive, or one of my defensive cores have gone down, uh, I am I like to sort of sacrifice my other one, then just go all out attack. Lots of you guys might know I like to go offensive anyway. However, I do put, take the risk, and I do live the Draco Meteor, um, and because I get, I predict, or I went for the risk expecting she would attack me, and I was just hoping I would live. I wasn't expecting to live at all, as it was just hoping. Anyway, that's enough of hoping. Uh, she switches here, because she's not sure if she can take me out with another Draco Meteor, unless it's a critical hit. Uh, I give her a roost again, so I'm back at full health, which is nice. Um, or near enough full health, because of burn and leftovers and whatnot. Um, but I think Rotom, after getting leftovers this turn, can definitely live, and live another Thunderbolt. But um, I'm faster anyway, which means it's a, probably a bulky uh, defense set. 
she goes to the pain split here, which is annoying. Very, very annoying. But, um, yeah, after leftovers and burn, I'm going to be at roughly, probably the same amount of HP as this Rotom, because Rotom doesn't have a massive HP stat, but obviously the orange and green doesn't matter too much. Here we go for the Roost again, um, expecting her to go for the electric type move this turn, which she does. She goes for the Volt Switch, which is a... Uh, nice it's not going to do very much damage at all because obviously when you roost you lose your flying type so then I became uh, resistant to it rather than neutral anyway Latias is back in and this thing really I, I can't touch it so I'm just gonna switch out here and I'm gonna bring in my Greninja uh, hoping I could live a Draco Meteor I think or just sacking it off um, probably more sacking it off but if I lived it, it would have been very nice so um Greninja dies, which is which is a shame, but also isn't a shame because now I can bring Gallade because I know I can take a special attack from this thing because she's um, at minus two now as well. Psychic done a uh, very little there. It's a Mega Latias. I go for a knockoff, does so much damage. Then I go for the Shadow Sneak on the next turn and it KOs, which is lovely. So Gallade is still sitting here, a lot of HP, and that's her Mega gone. Uh, in comes this uh, Victini, which I'm pretty sure by now is Choice Scarf. The way she's bringing it in on my Gallade, and I think that's why I wanted to keep my Zapdos alive, purely because it can, uh, well, it can try and take hits from Victini, but, um, uh, as you can see, that V-Create still done a lot of damage. This is a bold Zapdos, if you hadn't ever guessed or I hadn't already mentioned, um, and after that V-Create and Burn and stuff, I do live another turn, so they're now going to, well, she's going to go for a V-Create to finish me off, which is nice. Obviously, if she switched out there, she ran the risk of me going for a Roost. Um, she is still faster than me though. Uh, it would have been a shame, or it would have been nice if I could have gone ahead first and Thunderbolt. I've done a lot of damage. But in comes Gallade now, minus two defense. I'm uh, comfortable, uh, and minus two speed as well. I'm comfortable in bringing this thing in and just uh, basically killing something off with it. I go for the knockoff, uh, just in case she wanted to bring the Diggersby in, which is what she does. Diggersby is almost dead to her anyway. Life Orb got knocked off, so it confirms it was Life Orb, even though we'd seen the HP go down from it before. Anyway, Victini comes in. And uh, this thing is proving to be quite a pain. Now I'm going to bring in my um, Neuburn here because uh, it resists fire type. And that's pretty much the best I can do. Uh, it does just over half. So actually Neuburn took that better than I thought. And after the speed drop, even though it's Choice Scarf, I'm not sure if I'm faster or not. I oh, know. By by looks of it, she wasn't sure she could. Uh, she was faster either. I was so close to cl clicking Flamethrower. Because if I'd have... Um, if I, well actually no, I don't think really there was any uh, point for me not to go for it. But here I expect her to switch out again, and I go for the Air Slash, and uh, I think Air Slash is going to be enough to actually do hit KO this road. No, not quite to hit KO it. Um, but two more Air Slashes will probably kill it. So I'm going to go for it, hoping for the flinch, I think. I'm either going to just die or or what? She's going to burn me, which is fine because uh, I'm a special attacker. Notice how I'm not missing any of these Air Slashes, guys. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so the burn is going to start hurting, and probably I'm now at the point where an electric move probably kill me. Um, this thing is so close to dying, but it doesn't matter because I do have priority, which I've already revealed on my um, Gallade. Just bear that in mind, the fact that I do have that um, nice bit of priority with that Gallade. Um, anyway, in comes Victini, and this Victini is the bane of my life. Um, I'm going to crunch because I'm thinking the Earthquake's a bit obvious. I should have Earthquaked, really, um, because it would have killed. But I do get the crunch, and I do get the uh, thing. She U-turns here, so she obviously thought... Or well, didn't realise I was Scarf this whole time, and she thought she'd be faster. Or well, she's Adamant Scarf, which means I'm faster. I don't know what Chomp's base speed is. I want to say it's above 100, which I believe Victini's is. I think Victini's 100 across the board. Um, in comes this, uh, this, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Ferrofor, no one that no one likes. Bringing Gallad, because I decided it's probably the safest switch. She misses the Power Whip, which is a shame. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have probably lived, uh, unless she had attack investment. I give the close combat and it's just going to straight up kill this thing. Uh, critical hit, doubt that really massive at all. Um, obviously Iron Barb's going to do a bit of damage to me. Um, and that thing goes down. Now she's going to bring in the Victini and at this point I'm like, right, let's Shadow Sneak. Is it going to kill? Is Shadow Sneak going to kill? No, that base 100 defense saves the life of this Victini. She goes to the V Create here, which I'm not too sure whether that was the right move or not. Because... Um, I'm now, well actually I was faster anyway with Garchomp, so maybe she didn't have a chance. Um, Garchomp is my last Pokemon, but as you saw, she only has Victini. Uh, she has Victini on such low health, and the, her only other Pokemon is the Rotom, which is in very small amount of health too. So, um, I mean, I'm sure Outrage would have taken this thing out anyway. 
it took another TD if I didn't got the Shadow Sneak off. But that was the game. That's how close that game was. It was a brilliant game. It's the most exciting game I've had in a while on Pokemon game. Um, thank you, Anima, for that battle. It was really fun and really intense. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you are not already. The support on my last Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi uh, battle was amazing, guys. Thank you for that so much. Um, otherwise, can't think of any more praise to give you guys. You guys know you're awesome anyway. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you for the next Wi-Fi battle. Goodbye.